Hey y'all, this is Caitlin. So today I'm getting a facial done and um, I'm just going to kind of show you guys like what happens because I also don't know what's going to happen, what it's going to be like. So don't forget if you haven't subscribed, subscribe below. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back to follow me on this journey. Okay, you guys, I'm here. I'm gonna get microdermabrasion done and um, extraction facial. Never had anything done. Excited and a little nervous. Hopefully my face doesn't get worse or red or something. Um, I am in Shanghai at a place here and I'm gonna try and get some of it on the footage to show you kind of like what happens because I also don't know. Um, so yeah, microdermabrasion and extraction. Um, I'll show a little like a picture coming up next. So I'll just pop it up here on the screen of an explanation of what each of them are. And so yeah, I'll see you guys when I am there about to get my face cleaned and perfected even more if that's possible. Bye. So this is the dermabrasion, the microdermabrasion, and what it does is it clears out your pores with like the device that is sucking intensely, um, and she applies it to all over the face and the neck and part of the chest. actually so relaxing while she does it because it's just like a soothing process. So this next step is the extraction. So if you might not want to watch this if like you're not interested in um, the tool she uses or the process of extraction which you might think is gross. But during the extraction, she uses tools to help bring out any blemishes or deep uh, pores that you might have that are filled. She uses the tools to scrape the skin and then there's a small little needle to help break the skin and pull out any blemishes that have been built up there. nose is the most painful part um, but overall I wish the process would have lasted longer because once you get into it you feel like wow my my skin is being so refreshed um, so this was a 15 minute process um, they just do what they need to do it's not like they're looking to fill the whole 15 minutes if you have nothing then they won't keep doing it
Also, I'm sorry for all my pimple popper loving fans. This uh, was not a good way to film to actually see what she was getting out from under the skin. Um, it's just an example of the process. Maybe next time I'll have someone with me to help record and get a little bit closer. But with the steam she was using, this was the best angle for my camera. I just want to do a close-up of my face before so I'm a little oily from the sweat because <laughs> it's hot Sorry about that extremely intrusive close-up, but um, I just kind of want to do like a little before and after moment, you know? Okay, y'all. I just finished my facial, as you could see. Um, they did me good. So what happens is they do all the stuff that you just saw, and then you're going to have some redness for probably a day. Honestly, I think it's going to last like a little bit longer. Sorry, I changed because um, I was getting comfy. <laughs> but uh, this is what it looks like after. I have really sensitive skin. Um, this is from the extraction. So uh, what the extraction is, is you guys saw some of it. They like poke at you, get out all of your nasties. But now I have a little serum on my face. And I will get a little manicure pedicure and enjoy the rest of my spa day but I wanted to show you guys the end result of like right after the facial I'm looking at it too because <laughs> yeah, I look a little crazy but here's a little close-up of the skin honestly like if I didn't have the redness 10 out of 10 she a 10 out of 10 that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this little spa clip. I wanted to show you guys what it was like for my first time getting extraction and micro blemish. I loved it. I wish it could be longer, but it's actually like over an hour long. So it's pretty good timing in all honesty. And now I'll finish the rest of my treat yourself evening and hope to see you guys again.